this is a quick video on the air gateway installer from ubiquity and what this is is this is a installers tool to ease in installation difficulty so what you do is you just take this air gateway installer plug it in through micro usb into a battery backup here uh, this is a 20,000 milliamp hour that I got at Walmart for around $40. I have my phone operating off of it as well, and it's charging. All this does is provides power to the system, so you can take this up with you up on a roof and have everything right there easy to get to. And uh, this actually throws off 2 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, so you're able to connect no matter what frequency you have plugged into it. I have the new 5 gigahertz AC sector plugged into it right now just to show for this video. So now we're going to hop on over to the laptop and we'll look at the software side of things. Today we're going to be setting up a simple point to point link using Ubiquity Lightbeam AC uh, 23 dB dishes. It's the LBE 5 AC 23. That's what model we're using today. And we're also on Air OS 8. So this will be for Air OS 8. Uh, all the other ones are pretty similar. It may just look a little different, but this is for Air OS 8. This is the most latest current version. So first step, go to your Wi-Fi, connect to the Air Gateway. I'm hoping that you would have already had that plugged in by now. You just plug your CP in to the PoE out on the air gateway installer and then you plug in your micro USB into the air gateway so that way it'll power everything up and that's how you're able to connect to this network right here this air gateway with the MAC address okay so now after you do that now go to Google Chrome or your favorite web browser and type in 192.168.1.20 it'll bring you to this login screen you log in with UBNT, UBNT for both, and log in. Now you'll be setting at this screen, and it's going to give you this warning saying that you're using the default password. You can go ahead and change that. Uh, I'm going to actually just go through here and show you guys. Okay, so we're going to set up the access point side first. In every point-to-point -point link, there's an access point on one side and a station on the other. So we're going to set this one as the access point AC. We want this one because we're using all AC equipment. If you were doing a mixed mode between the other M stuff that is not AC, you'd want to do that. But we're doing that. And then under SSID is where you type in your network name, whatever you want it to show up as. Oh, actually, we want to do point to point on there. Is what we want because the other one, the other one was point to multi point. See the point to, uh, to multi point. We actually want point to point. Sorry about that. And then that will allow our channel width to go all the way up to 80 on that there. See, let me just show you this. If we do have it set to this one your channel width, the max you can go is 40. And see, since this is a point-to-point -point link, we want it all the way up to 80 to get maximum throughput. And then we're just going to leave uh, the, the frequency on auto for now. This is something that's very important. This is your number one setting that you'll change to get faster speeds is your frequency. This is something that we'll play with later after we get it up and going. And then... Uh, that about does it for this for this screen here. Oh, and then right here, this is important. You have to set your antenna type we're using the 23 dB dish, and it automatically calculates all that. Automatic distance, and go to network. Okay, we want to leave it in bridge mode. Leave it simple. Management IP address, set that as DHCP. Then we're going to go over to services. Just look through here, make sure that you can enable anything that you want or not. And the very last tab, system. This is where we're going to type in just your name or whatever you want the access point to be. And then you go ahead and click save changes and that'll save. Wait a minute or two, then go ahead and unplug that one from power and plug in your 
station unit because we're going to configure that one now. So now just do the exact same thing and get it pulled up to this to this screen here for the station. So we're on the we're on the other unit now, and uh, basically you're just going to select station point to point. The SSID is going to be whatever you typed in on the other one. Channel width, just leave this as auto, and it'll work just fine. Antenna, be sure to change that, just like we did on the other one. And also, something else I forgot to mention is if you wanted some wireless security, which I'd highly recommend, you just get on here and you would enter that in right here. And you can do this uh, on both of them. I mean, you're, you're going to have to do it on both of them if you want it to, to connect. So... If you didn't do it on the other one and you wanted to, now is the time to do it because otherwise it ain't going to connect. So just set that to whatever your preference is. Remember to set it to DHCP on the network tab. And then set this to station. And then click save changes. And that's all you have to do. Now, just plug in both your radios, and they should come up and be working as long as they're aimed at each other and within a reasonable distance. So, uh, lots of these radios, especially these ones here, these 23 DBIs, like you, you should be able to get somewhere between like five to seven kilometers with really good speeds. So, just keep that in mind whenever you're doing this. You don't try to overdo it or nothing. You may have to get bigger dishes if you want to go longer distances, but that's not a problem. The setup is, I mean, virtually the exact same. So if you have any questions or anything, just send me a message. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and also hit that like button while you're at it. And that would really help me out. I'd appreciate it. So if you thought this was useful, I'm glad because I spent some time doing this and I really thought this was a needed video, especially for AeroS 8. There was nothing out there for AeroS 8, so I seen a need and put it on there. So I'm glad you enjoyed watching and subscribe.